open up the laser cutter. Um, firstly, uh, you need to turn it on at the side here. There it is. Don't turn this on yet, that turns on the laser. Here, I would say don't take off the plastic for your acrylic. As soon as you take that off, it can get scratched. Unless you are etching, in which case you will need to take off that front face. Open up the laser cutter and place your piece of acrylic at the top left hand corner. Once the laser cutter has had a couple of uh, minutes just to warm up, you can see on the LCD here, it's just saying wait a moment, all right? And it's homing itself. Once it's homed itself and warmed up, you want to autofocus it. That is setting the laser cutter to the right uh, height. So, escape, escape if you cannot see this work display as it is now. Then, scroll down to number four, system setup. Uh, scroll down to position setup. And then, scroll down to autofocusing. That will lower the bed and then bring it back up at the right height. And you can see it's autofocusing on here. Once it's finished that, press escape, escape, and then go back up to work display and use these arrow keys here. Okay, it might be an idea to now turn on the laser cutter as that takes, that's the laser, that takes about a minute to warm up. Over here, you want to sign in, use the password that is on the computer here, which uh, on this computer is DTCUT01, and then the password is capital L laser 2019. They are different uh, in each room so do bear that in mind and make sure you sign in. You should have your DXF file or your 2D design file on a memory stick. As soon as this is uh, loaded up we can just put our memory stick into the side here. Okay. You want to open up a new 2D design uh, not tutorial. That's the wrong one. That's how not to do it. 2D design file. The reason why you want to open up a new one is that it's this is the size of the bed of a laser cutter. So you know exactly that it should fit on there. Now, if you have created a 2D design file, you want to go to add. All right. Don't worry about that warning. That's okay. Find your uh, memory stick, mine is just here, and I've created a laser DT file there, okay? And you can now open that. It's important that you take that whole file up to the top. Importantly, if you have the whole thing selected, it will print everything. If you have nothing selected, it will print everything. If you have one thing selected, it will just print that. If you weren't working with a 2D design file and you're working with a DXF file, go to import instead of add and now you can see that DXF file is there and you could go to that and the thing to make sure you remember is to click on millimeters, all right, uh, if you've been doing it and you can see that's repeated there. I'm just going to delete that, okay. Now, we need to set the settings. It depends on how thick your, um, your actual acrylic is. Firstly, select the right printer, which on here is LaserCam02. Um, then go to properties, and with 5mm acrylic, we will be setting the power to 100 and the speed to 1%. Okay, there. If you change anything, say it was uh, at 2 and you had to change it down to 1, we'd have to press setup or it will not work. If I was going to etch, I would press the red button because I've done all my lines in red for etching and then I might take the speed up to something like 60% and the power down to something like 60%. Again, press setup after you've done each colour. Press OK, press OK here. That has now set the file over here and you can see that one untitled there. That means uh, the document wasn't saved, it was just called untitled. And to set the whole program going, I'm going to press run like that and now we can see the machine starting to work should you see any flames ensure you stop the machine straight away by either pressing the off laser button here or turning it off at the side here all right and that will take off the laser 